Hi and welcome to this video about what's the best digital product to create and obviously it's a matter of opinion but I'm going to go into the types of digital products that you can create and then which ones I think are the absolute best. Um, the main types are written products so things like downloadable ebooks, access to websites so you could put your ebook on lots of pages on a website, people do that, um, links, that kind of thing. Audio products which you can play almost anywhere because that's the beauty of audio. You can play it in a car, you can play it while you're commuting, you can, wherever. Uh, video products, they're usually watched online nowadays but sometimes downloaded. And then software, which can be tricky but if you've got the right partner or you the right frame of mind, they're good. But which is best? Let's have a look at the different types. And obviously it depends what you mean by best, but let's go with a definition that's pretty much most profit for least effort always assuming that you've got a decent quality product in the first place. No point in a labour of love, as far as I'm concerned, if you can make the same money in half the time and give people at least the same value, probably more, then go with that one. So, written products, they've been around since well before the internet, pretty much since the printing press was discovered, maybe before then, I only got, yeah, it has been literally carved into tablets of stone, um, hieroglyphics were a written product on the Egyptian things so yeah but nowadays it's a lot lot easier for someone to self-publish back when I first started it was awkward you had to get it printed basically because that was before the web but now you can self-publish on the web and that can be things like short reports anything from one page onwards Kindle books so use Amazon to be your marketing um, lists of resources I've seen lots of products with that where you've got a list of 10 20 100 different things you can do all, all clickable because you can make them clickable at a click of a button and programs like Word and Open Office and whatever. Or longer reports and short reports I'm classing as anything up to about 10, 15 pages. Longer reports, 15, 20, 100, 200, 300, whatever you need. And they're all easy to create. If you can type and export your words as PDF or just upload them to Kindle, really, really easy to do. Tend to be the lowest value as well, mainly because of that ease of production and everyone kind of secretly wants to be an author. But for certain products, yeah, it can be good. Personally, I tend to steer clear of them because I find they take far too long and they're pretty much the lowest in the pecking order. You've only got to look at Kindle books at a couple of dollars, three dollars each, maybe less, to see that. So, next up, talk about audio products, and they work very, very well in some areas. I, for instance, sell some meditation and hypnosis products and since they're pretty much eyes closed from a, almost as soon as you click the play button, there's no real point in using video, although I do know quite a few people that do. Um, I suppose it's for the people that want to peek and see what's happening or whatever else, or it's just because it's the format people expect. Audio, as I said earlier, can be listened to anywhere, and a lot of videos, if this one included, could very easily be audio. But audio, as long as you've got something that will play an MP3 file and a pair of headphones, unless you want to inflict everyone in earshot with whatever you're listening to, a pair of headphones works better. Audio really, really does work well. Video, though, tends to be the highest price. And why? Pretty much because we've been trained to think that way by television and cinema. If you think about it, when was the last time you sat down and actually physically sat down and listened to the radio? Probably unless you're a certain age group, probably quite a long time ago, but you you sat down and at least half watched television, and if it's cinema, you, you are watching or munching popcorn or doing both. And videos are actually really easy to create. They're almost as easy to create as audios. All I did with this was create some slides. It took me, what, a few minutes to type out, and then press record on the digital screen catch program I use. So almost, uh, whereas if it's an audio, I'd probably still have notes, so they'd be the slides, and then I'd press record. So very, very little difference, but they've got a higher perceived value. And as a product creator, they're very much my favourite option. They're just easy to create, and people value them. So that works. Software tends to be specialist, mainly because unless you're a techie or you team up with a techie, they're probably a no-go area, you, even though some products create claim that you can create software from scratch in, in practice they're not very good it tends to be very formulaic and it, I've not been impressed but done right 
So if you can find a techie or team up with them, they can be very, very profitable. Ask Bill Gates whether he likes software. That's what his product company sells pretty much. And quite a few other products. Quite a few other companies do exactly the same. Oracle do very, very nicely from software. And lots of, lots of smaller people do as well. So it's not just reserved for the big guys. Software, if you can do it right, yeah, go for it. But unless you really know someone or or a programmer, um, a good programmer and happy with bug fixes and things, I'd avoid those. So what it boils down to is pick a format, then test it. And that means actually create a product in your chosen format, launch it, write a sales page, put a sales button on it, draw traffic using videos like this one, audios, forums, whatever you choose, and then see whether or not, see whether it sells, see whether you get on with creating that type of product and when I say see what it sells, obviously at a price you're happy with. No point in spending months or years to churn out a 99 cent Kindle book. But if you can get a, like one I paid for recently, $15, and that led to the upsell at the end for 500 reduced to, reduced to 250 then yeah. And lots and lots of different ways to do it. And if you'd like to help, if you'd like help on all this, click the link below this video you'll find a much, much longer explanation of all, well, all the ins and outs of creating digital products, and it's very, very affordable. So click the link below this video and you'll get a lot more help. But I wish you every success in creating whatever type of digital product you choose to create. And enjoy yourself while you're doing it as well. So have fun, click the link below this video, and I look forward to working with you, or helping you, or whatever. Okay, thanks for watching.